Hey guys, welcome back to the Mind of Brandon, and welcome back to another Thursday Theory. As indicated by the title of this video, we're going to be investigating the question, were dinosaurs reptiles? Now the inspiration for today's video is some commentary that I received on a previous video of mine titled, Genesis Cosmology Exposed. So let's go ahead and have a look at that commentary. I understand that you want to speak to every understanding, but referring to dinosaurs as reptiles is like referring to ocean mammals as fish. Sorry I thought to mention this. To which I responded, wait, what? How so? I understand dinosaurs to have been examples of reptilians. That's why Dementrodon isn't considered a dinosaur because it was an amphibian rather than a reptile, assuming that's not outdated info. Now, I want to clarify how I came to this understanding that Dimetrodon wasn't a dinosaur because dinosaurs were reptiles and Dimetrodon was an amphibian. Uh, basically, way back when I was a kid, there was this research project that I was working on for a, a class presentation. We all had to do these uh, class presentations. And um, I was told I could pick any topic I wanted, so I chose dinosaurs. But my teacher told me, you can't do a project on dinosaurs. I said, well, why not? You said we could pick any topic we wanted. He said, well, yeah, but you can't do it on dinosaurs. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't, I don't know why. But uh, I decided then to do a project on Dimetrodon. Uh, you know, instead of covering an array of different animals, just just pick one. Just pick Dimetrodon, this, this one particular prehistoric animal that's not classified as a dinosaur because according to this kids book that I had. Uh, it was a kids book all about Dimetrodon. There was actually a, a series of, of, you know, different books and all sorts of different, um, you know, prehistoric animals, mainly dinosaurs. But this one was on Dimetrodon, which the book said is not a dinosaur because it's an amphibian and dinosaurs are reptiles. That being said, there's another book that I've had since I was a kid that actually is not classifying Dimetrodon as one of the amphibians. This is a this is Dimetrodon here, and uh, as you can see, it's actually classifying Dimetrodon as a mammal-like reptile. Now, looking around on the internet for more modern sources, uh, I'm seeing corroboration for this classification of Dimetrodon as a mammal-like reptile. I'm not really seeing anything classifying it as an amphibian, although his, uh, uh, its lifestyle has been referred to as an amphibious to terrestrial type of lifestyle. I just wanted to clarify what was going on with Dimetrodon, but let's go ahead and return to the commentary. I know that the Dimetrodon is not a reptile, neither a dinosaur, and that it is the ancestor of all mammals. Well, as we just established, even if Dimetrodon isn't considered a dinosaur, it can be considered a type of reptile, a mammal-like reptile. But the dinosaurs and the reptiles are separate branches of evolution. From dinosaurs to birds, birds are more correct to be called dinosaurs, but they can't be called reptiles. Okay, based on the way that you're wording this, I think I might have to clarify that uh, I was never trying to say that reptiles are dinosaurs. Uh, what I was trying to say is that dinosaurs are a type of reptile. So, you know, kind of like how rats are rodents, but not all rodents are rats. Dinosaurs are related to reptiles' ancestor something like platypuses and primates, and from reptiles to other reptiles. Well, that was not entirely coherent, but I get that you're saying that you think of dinosaurs and reptiles as having a common ancestor, but you don't think of uh, dinosaurs as actually being uh, examples of reptiles. So I want to start by pointing out that the term dinosaur is derived from the Greek words dinos, meaning terrible, potent, or fearfully great, and Soros, meaning lizard or reptile. In fact, before you can even finish typing in dinosaur at Wikipedia, it tells you that it's a superorder of reptiles. Go to the actual article and the first thing it says is that dinosaurs are a diverse group of reptiles. Google definition of dinosaur and the first definition that pops up identifies it as a fossil reptile. Even Merriam-Webster says dinosaurs are reptiles. Now this is the book I was looking at the Dimetrodon in earlier. It's called Dinosaurs and Prehistoric Animals. There's a section called Ruling Reptiles, Dinosaurs and Their Kin. And yeah, it's a yeah, big section on uh, ruling reptiles. It talks about 
early ruling reptiles. There's a section on crocodiles. Uh, then there's flying reptiles. It's got small carnivorous dinosaurs. See that? These are these are ruling reptiles. It's kind of kind of yeah, you can kind of see that ruling reptiles, small carnivorous dinosaurs. And then it's got regular carnivorous dinosaurs, also as ruling reptiles. These guys. It's got large carnivorous dinosaurs. See that? Large carnivorous dinosaurs. More large carnivorous dinosaurs. <laughs> Early herbivorous, early herbivorous dinosaurs. You know, again, th this is all this is all considered reptile. Okay. Long-necked browsing dinosaurs. Again, these are considered reptiles. They're ruling reptiles. So I think you get the picture. As far as that book is concerned, uh, the dinosaurs would be examples of reptiles. And in both this lecture series on major transitions in evolution and this lecture series on a new history of life, the professors talk about how dinosaurs are descended from reptiles that survived the Permian extinction. So they're not saying that uh, reptiles and dinosaurs evolved separately from a common ancestor. No, dinosaurs come from reptiles. And this, of course, explains why dinosaurs are understood as reptiles. Although, the professor of this lecture series also drops the bomb that, really, there's no such thing as a reptile. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, he says, he says there's no such thing as a reptile according to cladistics. Now, if your reaction to that is anything like mine, you're going to be asking, what the hell is cladistics? Cladistics. A method of classification of animals and plants according to the proportion of measurable characteristics that they have in common. It is assumed that the higher the proportion of characteristics that the two organisms share, the more recently they diverge from a common ancestor. Apparently, reptilia is considered an invalid grouping in cladistics because it's paraphyletic. Wait, what the hell does that mean? A paraphyletic group is a group of organisms that includes an ancestor, but not all of its descendants. So this professor explains that reptiles are actually part of a larger group that also includes birds and mammals. Uh, it's a group called amniotes. Ah! What the hell is an amniote? Well, according to the professor, amniotes are all the tetrapods that have a terrestrially adapted egg. Oh my god, what is a tetrapod? Whoa, whoa, it's okay, guys. A tetrapod is just a vertebrate with two pairs of limbs. And I'm assuming you at least know what a vertebrate is, right? <laughs> Come on, dude. You, you at least know what a vertebrate is, right? So, I guess dinosaurs either are reptiles or they're not, depending on whether you believe in reptiles or not. So if you don't believe in reptiles, that means you don't get to refer to tortoises and geckos and iguanas and snakes and alligators, etc. as reptiles anymore. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to call them something else. Now for me, uh, I'm perfectly content thinking of them as reptiles and thus dinosaurs are reptiles. But let me know what you guys think, comment section down below. Uh, I'm of course aware that uh, certain lineages of dinosaurs evolved into birds, and some biologists will tell you that, you know, birds are basically living dinosaurs. Dinosaurs never went extinct. Birds are dinosaurs. And yeah, I, I prefer just to think of birds as having evolved from dinosaurs. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hopefully this video was helpful to someone. If you guys want to help me out, I do have a Patreon account linked down below in the description box. You can go there and donate if you want to, right? That's it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with other people. 
If you're interested in watching my future videos, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next one. So have a good one, guys, and peace.